Story 1. My graduating class bought a keg of root beer from our local liquor store. We set it up at about 6 a.m. in the student parking lot. There were about two dozen of us. We all had lawn chairs and set it up just like one of our real parties with chairs all around the kick. The police were called. It didn't take them long to figure out what was actually going on. Story 2. When I was a freshman, a bunch of the seniors convinced the whole school that Fall Out Boy was coming to perform a concert for our school. They started by hanging posters for a supposed contest Fall Out Boy was holding where they would come play a concert for whichever high school in America got the most students to sign a petition. The winning school would be the one with the highest percentage of votes, so we stood a chance even though our school has 500 students in it total. They hyped it up and passed around the petition for a week or so, and then we didn't hear about it for a while, months go by, and then rumors start to spread that we won. No official word mind you, but some seriously persistent rumors. This goes on for some weeks, until virtually the entire student body is convinced it is the truth. Then, one day, a black Escalade rolls up to the school in the middle of a school day, so certain classes can see it from their windows, it pulls up to the theater entrance, and then some dudes rush in with instrument cases. Some kids who saw them swore that they were the members of Fall Out Boy, they must have been setting up and practicing for the concert. Finally, the big day arrives, our principal comes on the announcements one morning and tells us that there is a big surprise for the whole student body that afternoon, and we are all to report to the theater during the final period of the day. Many a freshman girl spent the whole day screaming about how exciting it was that Fall Out Boy was here, so we all go to the auditorium and the principal comes out and confirms it, it is a Fall Out Boy concert, he tells us that we need to give them a big welcome for them to start playing, so we all start chanting Fall Out Boy Fall Out Boy and as we're doing it the opening chords of Sugar We're Going Down ring out over the amps, and the stage curtain lifts up. On stage are a couple of scrawny white guys in tight pants rocking out playing Fall Out Boy songs. It turns out they were some of the seniors responsible for this prank. Funniest part was that many kids didn't even realize and still were convinced it was Fall Out Boy halfway through the fake concert. I was a skeptic most of the way through the year, but they had me believing it when we were in there chanting. Story 3. The seniors at my school hyped up the prank, put posters everywhere, handed out flyers, posted daily on social media, installed a countdown clock. This also grabbed the attention of the local newspaper. They arrived at the school for an article. That was for us huge news. Some seniors even gave quotes to the press. Then the clock struck zero. Everyone held their breath for what was about to happen. Nothing. There was no prank. Story 4. We had an interior courtyard in one of the buildings. There was a restaurant about 15 miles away with a Paul Bunyan statue out in front. Most of the school showed up at 4 a.m. to get the statue driving down the expressway with the head over the front of the pickup and the feet almost touching the ground in the back with a tarp over the middle. The pickup was surrounded by 100 or so cars and trucks. Nobody was getting close to it. We got it to the school, hoisted it to the center of the main building and admired our work. The next day the school had to get a crane to get the statue removed. Best part was nobody saw a 100 vehicle convoy with a 15 foot statue in the center on the highway. Story 5. I heard of a prank where the students went and spray-painted class of 2005 all over the school and sprayed grass killer on the football field in big letters that said class of 2005. The prank was that it was the class of 2006. They did it the week before they became seniors, so the senior class got in trouble for it, but the juniors who did it never said anything until after they got their diplomas after senior year. Kinda lame, but I respect the approach. Story 6. My class's senior prank was passing out marbles to as many people as possible pre-graduation. When you went to shake the principal's hand during the ceremony, you would pass him the marble. By the time I got to shake his hand he was surrounded by a pretty big pile of marbles. The principal was cool about it, he just laughed when I handed it to him. I have no idea who came up with the idea, but it was so harmless and random. Story 7. My dad had a close friend whose grandpa owned a chicken farm. At the time, the chicken farm was going to put down a couple dozen hens because they were no longer producing eggs, 
my dad and his friend got some of their other buddies and asked the one friend's grandpa for the chickens. He said as long as they were gone then he was fine with them taking them so they've got a bunch of dog carriers and stuffed them full of chickens. My dad had keys to get into the school because he would run morning workouts for wrestling team so they took all of the chickens to the school on Saturday night and hid them throughout the whole school. On Monday when they came to school the faculty were running around chasing chickens and to top things off they always served chicken for lunch on Mondays. Story 8, not sure if I would call it best as much as I'd call it stupid and dangerous and it wasn't actually my high school but it was the next town over. Somebody claimed that they needed sawdust for something at home, so the shop teacher started giving him all of the sawdust from the woodworking classes. He stashed it all at home for like six months, and then at the end of the year, they spread all the sawdust on the football field and lit it on fire. Story 9. One year, the senior prank at the high school was to park in the most annoying way possible, taking up multiple spots and double parking. Not very good in my book of funny, but hey it didn't damage anything, so whatever. The parking lot was shared by a local business though and the shop owner thought he'd play a prank of his own. Called a buddy, and an off-duty cop came down to give everyone fake parking tickets. The econ class that most of them were in, had a view of the lot. The cop drove up in a cop car, with lights flashing. Wish I could have been there to see their faces, when the cop started placing empty ticket envelopes under windshields. Story 10. Here's a simple one. Find a locker that's not being used by any students. Get a portable CD player, the kind that can run on batteries, but is loudspeakers. Make a CD of 1, 0, M, I, N, U, T, E, S, silence, followed by an hour of porn audio. Put the CD player with CD in the abandoned locker. Press play. Put your own master lock on the locker. Leave the scene. Story 11. A couple friends of mine and I kidnapped our headmaster principal from assembly by rappelling down from the rafters and putting a bag over his head and ushering him off stage. Then we played a queued up video that looked like a ransom video that was happening live. At the end of the video the headmaster escapes and returns to the assembly and continues his speech as if nothing happened. Story 12. When I was a sophomore, the senior class did a typical prank on the Friday before exams so that we would all think that was their prank. Then, on then Wednesday of exams, they rented a camel and put it in front of the school with signs saying Happy Hump Day. It was a fun prank, harmless, ease the stress of exams and funny to see a camel standing alone in front of the school. Story 13. A few people all chipped in to buy a car clamp and clamped the car of the teacher who oversees year 14. They then left a note on the window screen which was a riddle in Old English which would lead to another one somewhere in the school, until you finally got the last one which had the key to unlock it. She's not a teacher who can take joke and was furious about it especially because it was home time before she saw the clamp and had sent the caretaker on a wild goose chase around the school looking for the key. Story 15. I heard of one where the school banned senior pranks and were told that if they did it, they would not get their diplomas and be expelled. So all the seniors decided to bring a banana into school one day and just walk around with it, not eat it or anything, just constantly be holding it. So the teachers got suspicious of this and told them they had to eat it or throw it away before they'd get confiscated. The students then never ate them and they got confiscated. The next day, they did the same thing but with big bottles of water, but never drank them, just carried them, and all of them had the same bottle I believe. So the school again got suspicious and did the same as the bananas. They ended up confiscating them all. The next day, parents were calling in complaining and reporting to the district or whoever they would in from the UK so not sure how it works there saying that the school wasn't allowing them to have fruit or water in school. This was during a particularly hot summer too.